Hey guys, so this is a super exciting video because I'm finally going to be setting up my bookshelves in my new house. So this is episode 5 of my moving series, so I'll link all my other videos down below if you missed it. Basically, if you didn't know, I moved out. And it's super exciting because I have more room for bookshelves, so as you can see, <laughs> I have a lot more bookshelves. Before in my old room, I literally had two of these bookshelves, and now I have seven bookshelves, which is honestly crazy. And I just want to emphasize how grateful I am. I know that I'm really lucky to have this much space to be able to put these bookshelves. I just can't even believe it. Like, it's literally been a dream to have, like, a wall of bookshelves. I'm just so happy. Like, <laughs> I'm so excited to fill these bookshelves. But basically, in this room, this is the clubhouse. That's what we call this room, Callan and I. So basically, in this room, it is the library slash my journaling room slash the gaming room. So this is where I'm going to be filming videos, where I'm journaling, filming my journaling videos. Where I'm going to be gaming, we have our gaming computer coming and I'm also going to be streaming on Twitch. This room is going to be like the best room ever, so I'm so excited. And yeah, so basically these bookshelves are all from Ikea. So I got these bigger bookshelves and then I alternated between the bigger and the smaller Billy bookshelves. So the reason I wanted the smaller ones too is because how I like to organize books is usually by height. So when I have like, for example, lots of different paperbacks that aren't the same height, I don't love the way that it looks when I just have them across here. So I like these bookshelves to kind of like stack them on top like that. Um, I also really like these bookshelves for manga and graphic novels. So that's another reason I got these. And I'm just really excited to be able to have these like smaller ones as well as the bigger ones. So I don't have a full plan in my head, but I'm going to start with like one thing. I'm probably going to start with manga and graphic novels and I'm going to try to spread it out and try to have like a balanced look. I'm not doing rainbow or anything. I've never really been into rainbow shelves. That just seems like too much work and that's not really my vibe. So anyway, I'm really excited. <laughs> I have all my books in front of me. There are so many books that I have to organize. I don't even know if I'm going to fill all the bookshelves with these books, but I probably will because I am planning to have lots of like book covers facing outwards and stuff. And I also have some of my decorative pieces that I'm going to put on my bookshelf all together too. So I don't know when I'm going to put those on. Maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited. It definitely won't all be done in one day. Like it's literally 5 p.m. right now. I don't think I'm going to do it all tonight. So it'll probably take like a few days, maybe one or two days, but I am ready. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop for today because I need to eat dinner, but I'll just talk about what I've done so far. So obviously not all of these shelves are done, for example, like these definitely are not gonna stay like that. <laughs> but I've done some of my manga and graphic novels. So here I have some white manga. I have this book on display. I got these book stands from Amazon, but you can also get them from eBay and I'm actually gonna get some more because I really like how you can display your book like that. I have my Full Metal Alchemist manga here. This is kind of the horror shelf. But there are some books that aren't horror. So for example, here we have lots of horror, but also not. Like for example, Kafka on the Shore isn't horror. We've got out on display because that cover is just stunning. We have some My Junji Ito books, Tokyo Ghoul, some horror manga, 
and Death Note, and I obviously still need to do that. And then I put some of my colourful manga here, and I put some white paperbacks here. So yeah, I think I'm going to focus on the graphic novels, manga, and paperbacks and stuff. That's why I've put them all out here, so I can organise them. But like I said, I'm going to do that later because I need to eat. But I'm kind of thinking I will use all the bookshelves because I'm really spacing it out, you know? It's just so nice to be able to display things like, I love this book. Okay, it's a new day and I'm determined to finish organizing my bookshelves today, so let's see if that happens. But it's actually good that I kind of, you know, took some time to just kind of reflect because I think there are already a few things I want to change, just minor. So, for example, I think I want to change this shelf. As you can see, it's like organized by height, but I think I realized with paperbacks, because paperbacks come in so many different sizes, I think I actually prefer the look of like it alternating so I think I'm gonna kind of mix this up. Now I'm going to probably finish doing all the paperbacks and graphic novels and manga and all that so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'll probably move on to like you know my B shop shelf and stuff so yeah. There are also quite a few books that I prefer the look of without the dust jacket on. For example, this one, I, you know, this is cool, but I definitely prefer it without the dust jacket because how cool is that? So I think I'm actually going to do this with quite a few books and just store the dust jackets in like a container. Okay, so these are quite a few black books and these are all poetry except for this. This is a graphic novel, but I think I'm going to combine these black books with the horror paperbacks I have because I just want to, <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, actually jokes, I've changed my mind. I think I'm gonna leave it like this, but obviously it's like falling, so I need to use some bookends and I have two pairs of those, so. Okay, I'm actually now gonna do my BTS shelf. So I have like all my albums and BTS books and I'm gonna put them up here. So if you watched my Redbubble haul, the first video in my moving series, you saw I got this and I'm so obsessed with it. So I think it's going to go here. Okay, jokes. I feel like it's too hidden back there. So, oh, maybe. No, no, no. I think I'm going to put it on this shelf. So I think I'll move this over and then put it there. Actually, I think I'm going to switch things up a bit. So I think I'm going to move these Junji Ito books here because I was like, what am I going to put in this space? And then I'll move this down here because also like, I think I'm going to film here here and I don't think you'll really see the top shelves that I'm filming and I really like these books so I want them to be in the shelves so I'm going to put these down here and then move those over here I think. Okay jokes, some rearranging needs to happen, I'm not happy with this. <laughs> So 
I got this Sally Deluxe action figure. This is the silver anniversary one. And I got this from Entertainment Earth. They sent it to me for an Instagram post. So I think I'm gonna put her here to fill that space. have quite a few pink books I realized so I think I'm gonna put them all together even though you know I usually wouldn't put these together because for example this is like a graphic novel but I never know where to put this one so I think this is how I'm gonna do it okay now I'm gonna work on my classics shelf so that's gonna go here this book is a really good example of it being so much more stunning under the dust jacket like this cover is okay but under the dust jacket 10 times better in my opinion Okay, so I'm just going to give you an overview of what it's looking like. That's not going to say that that's going to go somewhere else. We've got some classics. I think I'm going to move those. Actually, those are like all my graphic novels and stuff. I put this amazing edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland on a book stand. Some manga, BTS. I love that shelf, actually. Then we have this shelf, which I am loving. I think I'm going to put some fantasy books here. Then we've got some poetry, manga, some paperbacks down there, some graphic novels, pink books. Yep, so obviously still a lot to go, but I'm really liking how it's looking so far. So the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, their covers are stunning, but the spines, I don't like. I'm not into this like super colorful vibe. So I think I'm gonna take the dust jackets off. Okay, so I actually decided to move my BTS shelf over there because I'm not displaying too many items. I didn't like how there was like two shelves that were displaying items right next to each other, if that makes sense. So I think I'm just gonna have this shelf with just books only. I also made this shelf, which I'm really obsessed with. So this is like the beautiful naked books shelf. So I've taken some of the dust jackets off of these books because they're stunning, but some of them are already like naked. So these two and that one was already naked. So just stunning foiling. And I also have this on display because I just love that. And that is the naked book of Wicked Saints, which I actually still need to read, but I really love that. So I'm just buying it. Okay, so it's definitely getting kind of full. Obviously still a few shelves to fill, but I think I'm gonna do my V shop shelf. Thank you. 
Okay, so here is my progress so far. I'm like over halfway done. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to fill all the shelves, but that's fine to have some spare ones. But I actually think I'm going to stop for today and I'm going to finish it tomorrow because I'm freaking hungry, so. Okay, today is the day where I'm finally going to finish my bookshelves. I'm so excited. So I think I'm going to do my Shadowhunters shelves. I think I'm actually going to have three. I had two in my previous room, but I think I was getting a bit cramped. So I'm either going to have two or three, so. I also have this mortal cup to display, which I'm really excited about. This came in the fairy loot chain of gold box. So I'm definitely going to display this. Yeah, so there's this really cool mortal cup that came in it. So I'm going to display this. Okay, so I ended up just making two. I don't know why I thought there was going to be three, but yeah, so I have two. And then I've also done that shelf. I don't know. I've done a few shelves since I updated. I did this rainbow shelf. Now I just need to do these UK hardbacks and my arcs. So this shelf is obviously pretty blank. So I think I'm going to put my arcs on these two shelves. I'm thinking of dividing it between like red arcs and unread arcs. And then I'll probably put the UK hardbacks here. And then I have two free shelves. And I think I'm actually going to put like journaling stuff there. So that is perfect. And then that will all be done. Okay, so I have officially finished setting up my bookshelves. I'm literally so obsessed. I can't believe these are actually my bookshelves. Like I've been dreaming of having, you know, heaps of bookshelves to store all my books for so long and it's amazing <laughs> it's really an amazing feeling so oh my goodness just looking at them <laughs> like i just can't even believe it yeah wow i well <laughs> i just can't even fathom anyway i don't even know what i'm saying but yes yeah, so i definitely will be filming an updated bookshelf tour because obviously i need to show you through all the shelves and everything so i definitely will be filming an updated bookshelf tour you know probably within the coming months keep your eyes out for that yeah i am so happy with them So that is it for this video. The next video in this moving series will be me decorating the home and stuff like that because we haven't really put up art yet. So that vlog is going to be dedicated to decorating our space. So that's going to be really nice. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a good day or night and I'll see you in my next one. <laughs>